Yo, welcome back to Can't Stop Art. I'm your host, 40. So today we are doing a SpongeBob inspired piece, right? Let's just call him Bob. And uh, I decided to do an acrylic pour for the, not just, well, the background, the subject matter, etc., and then paint the rest of them on top, right? So here we did the, the blue first, a few different shades of blue, and that's gonna represent the ocean. I did that first, and then I drew out the top of his head. That way I knew where to tape it off, and after I taped it off, we decided to do him, right? Several shades of yellow, a mustard, a bright, and then a uh, fluorescent yellow. I always say uh, reflex because some of the paint, that's the name of the color, right? <laughs> anyway, so fluorescent. So it looks great under the black light. In fact, this piece is a very interactive uh, fluorescent piece. If you have black light, it looks ridiculous, huh? I don't even know why I decided to paint this. I'm not a huge SpongeBob fan or anything like that, but every once in a while, I suppose, just like everybody else, I see something and I'm like, oh, I need to paint that. <laughs> and that's just how it works, right? I don't remember what it is that I saw, but I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint SpongeBob. And probably I'm gonna paint Patrick too, just because I like to do things, uh, I like symmetry. I like things to be even. I like things to be balanced, etc. So, yeah, I think I'll do Patrick next. Um, so, anyways, at this point, I'm, I'm taking a Posca marker. I drew the top just to give myself a good solid reference of where things end. I grabbed the pencil. I started to uh, to draw out his face. This is all done in freehand. So, trying to figure out to make things look level and even, etc. I didn't have a sketch to go off of already, so I was just doing this as I went and trying to make it look good but and and not leaving too much graphite on the paint right because you see right there i grabbed some minimal mineral spirits and realized it removed the posca also <laughs> so then i just hit it with an eraser and for, yeah it, it removed more or less most of the graphite right and obviously anything that was going to be painted over that had graphite underneath no biggie but uh i didn't want any graphite to show in places that weren't painted over right so here in his rosy cheeks, along with most of them, right, the mouth, the circles, right, or the holes in the sponge, if you will, have many layers to give added depth, interest, etc. This piece really has that added depth, that je ne sais quoi, right? <laughs> so what do you guys, you guys into SpongeBob? Tell me, tell me. Um, should I just do Patrick's face, just the top, or like, or should I do his whole body or what, right? Here I'm going over those Posca marker with black paint uh, because it's much more vivid. Huh? If you're not worried about how vivid the black is, then of course the Posca marker, it's great. In fact, it's way easier to control than a brush, but um, it just doesn't dry as vivid, right? So uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to, to move about the painting for minimal drying time, I suppose, you know, like I have no patience. <laughs> so if there's any way to keep painting, I try. Um, obviously, there's some points where I put it in front of a fan to her speed up the drying time, etc. We're trying to give things some depth here, so adding multiple layers, different tonalities, different um, shades is definitely going to help, right? Um, I'm gonna do the eyes like I normally do them, right? My signature style, and I'm making sure right now I'm thinking about several things, like how do I balance this piece with uh, fluorescent ink? So it looks cool under the back black light. I should post a picture uh, on Instagram. In fact, I will in the stories uh, soon, or maybe in a regular post, showing what it looks like in the black light. You can see in the reel, I did put a reel yesterday where it shows it for a second. Um, and yeah. I had a lot of fun with this piece. I don't know. It's one of those feel good pieces. I don't think it's just because he's smiling, but for sure it's colorful. He's smiling. And I don't know when I look at it, it's I smile. <laughs> and like I said, I'm not even a huge SpongeBob fan. <laughs> oh man, what a day. Uh, I cut myself spearfishing last week and my hand is still hewing, which makes everything a bit more difficult. <laughs> You know, I'm outlining everything here because this is not a realism piece. It's a pop art piece and pop art pieces typically have things outlined. Um, and I'm going to outline it in a black box Posca marker as well. It makes things pop. It's more in your face, etc. cetera. Um, you wouldn't do that for a realism piece, right? And for some reason, I decided that the blue above his rosy cheeks, it was going to give it the right amount of contrast and just, I don't know, look cool. I even hit a black Posca marker between the orange and blue to add more contrast. And yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I'm digging it. I'm digging it, right? 
I definitely love how this piece turned out in the end, especially under blacklight, right? I'm, I'm so feeling this piece. In fact, I just started uh, working on the prints for them, so prints should be available in a week or so on the website. Uh, here I'm adding a little bit of that um, fluorescent yellow to the green spot, uh, green areas, and I watered it down a bit. However, even though you don't see it very, very much right now, you see it under the blacklight, right? And uh, yeah. We're getting close to wrapping this piece up. I really had fun with it. And you'll notice every once in a while, I grab a, a small handheld uh, blacklight flashlight to check to see how things are looking, right? Because even in the daytime, you can see, but for sure at night, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> what are you guys working on these days? Share in the comments. I would love to check out your work. And what do you guys think about this piece, right? I added some white, by the way, in the eyes, a little bit more than usual because I thought it brought out like what I was looking for. And on the top, those blue lines are actually just uh, fluorescent paint because it wasn't balanced. There was nothing up there that glue in the dark. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this piece. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Until next time, I'm out.